working on problem four from the Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2 practice exam. So this problem is some probes are more equal than others. As usual, the titles don't matter much. And we're just going to read through the intro to the problem. So we're reading right here. A set of endpoints for integer n greater than zero, numbered 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth, up to n, are arranged in an array. You are given n so the number of points, and an operation probe to access the points. Given a point number p, probe of p returns p's associated value. However, probing a point p has a cost, cost of p. Okay, so we've, we've got a bunch of points arranged in an array. We can just think of them as arranged on a line. And if we probe one of these points, it's going to give us some value that's sort of hidden inside that point. Uh, but doing that probe has a cost, and probing different points might have different costs. Okay, So checking the cost of a point costs nothing, so we know the costs beforehand. Probing a point more than once also costs nothing, which makes sense. I mean, imagine that this was some physical phenomenon that we were testing here, uh, like we're, we're looking at um, core samples uh, from an ice core in Antarctica, and we want to uh, we want to determine something about some section of the core sample that might have some cost depending on you know what exactly the core sample looks at it like at that point it gives us back a number but then we can just store that number so it's not like looking up the number again has a cost so this is a reasonable model of a whole bunch of different physical scenarios that we might be involved with the points are sorted in increasing order by their associated values. Ah, okay, so the values, uh, so v1, v2, v3, v4, and we know that v3, for example, is greater than, maybe greater than, or greater than or equal to. Ah, okay, greater than. v3 is greater than v2 because 3 is greater than 2, and so on and so forth. You would like to find a target value t in such a way that you minimize the worst case total cost of your probes. Okay, so we're searching for a particular value. I mean, in some sense, this is searching for a particular value in a sorted array. We could probe all of these uh, points, and then we could just use binary search to find the value that we're looking for. Uh, that would take one probe per point and then a logarithmic number of, of additional probes for binary search, but since only the first probe on each point matters, uh, that would be kind of the worst possible solution we could create because we would probe every point. So what we want to do is take advantage of the fact that the points are sorted so that we spend fewer probes. All right, so we should definitely do some examples. We should see, for instance, if binary search is a good plan, because binary search is what comes to mind here, and so on and so forth. The problem structure is actually going to guide us to this, so I'm not going to do that right now. But if the problem structure didn't guide us in that direction, we should be doing it ourselves.